keep stumbling across these little religious channels where some wingnut preacher is doing everything wrong, just like the big boys are. So much for thinking outside the box, or thinking at all. This time I look at Pastor Daniel Fusco, who seems to think that faith is a good thing, then totally misunderstands and misrepresents what faith is, and then goes off the deep end into unsupported claims and wishful thinking. In other words, the same old nonsense we all laugh at here on the channel all the time. So let's see why he thinks we ought to have faith, and why it all falls apart under even the most cursory scrutiny. Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here. Welcome to today's Two Minute Message. Um, thanks? Of course I have to ask, can you really cover any subject in any reasonable way in two minutes? And this certainly isn't the first time I've seen someone try to put an artificial time limit on a video. In fact, I think I've even done a few of these videos in the past, or at least thought about it. But I don't know that you can really put your thoughts into any kind of coherent content in such a short period of time. But hey, what do I know, right? Let's see how well he fares. So a lot of people struggle with the idea of faith. And people say, how can I have faith in something that I do not see? Which is interesting, because that's the exact definition of faith. If you extend do not see to do not have any reason whatsoever to think it's real, that's a good question. What's the point of believing in something that can't be demonstrated to be so? The writer of the Hebrews in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1 says that faith is the, the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And that's something that's downright absurd. What the author of Hebrews is saying is that faith is identical to wishful thinking. It's an emotional act, not an intellectual one. And that's not something to be proud of. And a lot of people say, well, you shouldn't have faith because it's not rational or logical. Actually, faith is the most rational thing. Not based on the definition you just gave, because based on that definition, it's completely irrational. This is something that tends to confuse the religious. The definition of the word rational is based on or in accordance with reason or logic. Adopting a belief system that makes you feel good is neither logical nor reasonable. And that's the very definition of irrational. Look it up. It's in the dictionary. See, faith is saying that God is real and God can work even though I haven't seen the outcome. And that's not rational. It is asserting the existence of a God that has not been objectively demonstrated and claiming that this unproven God has accomplished anything. And that's not how this works. You can't just make up an imaginary being and arbitrarily argue that it's the cause of anything. But that's exactly what you're doing. You have all these other examples where you see God do amazing things and you are reading God doing something amazing into something that you haven't yet seen it yet. But you haven't demonstrably seen God do anything because you haven't shown that God is real in the first place. I have no idea why this is so hard for the religious to get through their heads. I mean, I can say, I have seen the majesty of the magical unicorn in my life. But that's a totally empty claim, because I've got no reason whatsoever to think that any magical unicorns exist in the real world. Just claiming something doesn't make it so. And I think that's the key to faith. The key to faith is not, I'm just trusting that something random's gonna happen. It's like, you have an entire life that you have walked, where you have seen God do extraordinary things. I mean, even the fact that you're here now, hearing and watching this video, that proves that God has done extraordinary things. You didn't create your hearing or your eyesight or the internet or any of these things, but we're able to communicate. It's proof of how miraculous God is. <sighs> that has got to be one of the most idiotic things I've ever heard in my life. And that's one of the reasons we spend so much time laughing at these moron apologists, because they're saying all of this absurd nonsense completely unironically. It just shows how dumb these people really are, that they can't work out that the empty claims they're making are laughably ridiculous, yet it doesn't stop them from making them time and time again. 
but we, we have to learn how to read into the future God's faithfulness as it exists in the present moment before something happens. A faithfulness that you still haven't managed to show actually exists. So you will continue to be delusional into the future just as you're delusional now. And you wonder why people think you're idiots. And living by faith is not being naive. It's simply choosing to trust God before God does what God is going to do. It's choosing to believe something for no good reason because it makes you feel good to believe it. You don't get to start out with the assumption that God exists. You actually have to prove it. You have to produce objectively verifiable evidence that your assertion is factually correct in demonstrable reality. And theists have done none of that. And they can't do it. Theists know they can't do it. Why it doesn't stop them from claiming this crap over and over and over again, I couldn't tell you. And then they pretend they're rational. These people have problems. And that gives God great glory because God is being trusted before we see the deliverance. It's easy to trust God after it happens, but it shows a beautiful faith and a simplicity of faith when we trust him before. Well, it's simple anyhow, simple-minded, but that's the thing. That's not how you do intelligence. It's not how you use that paperweight between your ears. You can't just pretend that God is real for emotional reasons, then base your entire worldview on that unsupported assumption and build your fantasy castles on that foundation. The second someone who doesn't share your unjustified belief comes along, your entire worldview crumbles because it makes no rational sense. Why can't you see that? So a couple things. First, share this video because God wants us not to be anxious about tomorrow, but to hope in him for tomorrow and what he's going to do. Oh, I'm sharing it, but I'm afraid that you're not going to like the results because the people I'm sharing it with are not the people you want it shared with. They're not gullible, emotional idiots who cling to irrationality like a security blanket and take illogical claims made without evidence seriously. They're people who can see straight through the theistic horse excrement that you're spewing. And then in the comment section, why don't you share a way that you exercise faith and that God did something amazing. Something that was worrying you, then all of a sudden God acted. Because what I have learned is that when we see the great testimony of how faithful God is, that will encourage us to walk by faith, even though we haven't seen God's fulfillment of a promise in the future. And that's going to make our lives not only more beautiful, but a great adventure that we're going to love living together. God bless you guys. Yeah. How much do you want to bet that none of those comments are going to include any actual evidence that God has anything to do with any of their stories? See, this kind of reminds me of this guy who's been commenting on one of my videos. You might know who I'm talking about. He keeps making all kinds of empty claims about God, and when I tell him to prove any of it's true, he says he can't, but he just knows that it is. All he's doing is making a fool of himself by ignoring the facts and pretending that his emotional fantasies impress anyone. They do not. But he falls into the same camp with Pastor Daniel here that they're so immersed in their religious fantasies that they can't even see the real world from where they are. They're mentally ill, and if you go look at the DSM-5, the definition of delusion fits exactly what they're saying. It says, Delusions are fixed beliefs that are not amenable to change in light of conflicting evidence. And that's exactly what the strongly religious have. Delusions. This is a problem if you care about creating the most rational, intellectual, and evidence-based society because these people want none of that. They want emotions and nothing else. They don't care if what they believe is true. They only care if what they believe makes them feel good. These delusional idiots stand in the way of the future, which is why it's such a good thing the religion is going the way of the dodo. It needs to die so that the future of humanity can live. And the sooner it happens, the better off we'll all be. Everything changes.